Hats by F. S. Flint. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. The hollow sound of your hard felt hat as you clap it on your head is echoed over two thousand miles of trenches by a thousand thousand guns and thousands of thousands of men have been killed and still more thousands of thousands have bled and been maimed and have drowned because of that sound towns battered and shattered villages blasted to dust and mud forest and wood stripped bare rivers and streams befouled the earth between and beyond the lines ravaged and sown with steel and churned with blood and a stink with decaying men nations starving women and children murdered genius destroyed minds deformed and twisted and waste 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 of the earth's fruits of the earth's riches all in obedience to your voice and the sound of your hat is in the same gamut of void and thoughtless and evil sounds o oh, esteemable man keeper of the season ticket walker on the pavement follower of the leader writer guardian of the life policy insured against all harm fire burglary servants accidents warden and ward of the church wallflower of the suburbs primrose of respectability as you go home beneath your hard felt hat the tradesmen do you homage happily the trees do not know you you have scoffed at the poet because you are a practical man and does not your house bear you out have poets such houses it has a garden in front with a plot of grass and in the middle of that a flower bed with a rose tree in its midst and other rose trees against the walls and a privet hedge and stocks and delphiniums flowers in season the path is irregularly paved for quaintness there is a rustic porch and a street door with a polished brass letter box and knocker and stained glass panels showing a bird and flowers and an electric bell push but you have a key and you let yourself in to the quiet red tiled hall where the doormat says welcome and the stand receives your umbrella and your coat and your hard felt hat a drawing-room a dining-room because all your fellows have them and a kitchen all clean and neat and because the kitchen is comfortable you have your tea there with your wife and child only one child for are you not practical on the upper floor are a bathroom and three bedrooms let your furniture stand undisturbed i will not describe it a hundred shops in london show off the like in their windows as for your books they are as haphazard and as futile as your pictures but here is your comfort and you are comfortable and on summer evenings and saturday afternoons you wander out into the garden at the back which is fenced off on three sides from similar gardens and you potter around with garden tools and are happy oh insured against all harm waiter on the pension at sixty domestic vegetable cultivated flower you have laughed at the poet the unpractical dreamer you have seen life as bookkeeping and accountancy your arithmetic has pleased you your compound interest your business more than the earth and the heavens and if your brother suffered you took no heed or read a liberal newspaper and salved your conscience aunt aunt oblivious of the water being boiled in the cauldron but when the time came for your chastisement for the punishment of your apathy your willless ignorance when the atmospheric pressure was just equivalent to the weight of the seventy-six centimeter column of mercury and the water had exactly reached the hundredth degree of centigrade you felt though you feared it that the time had come 
that you had something called a collective honor some patriotism and those others too felt the same honorable sentiment and you called for the slaughter that sanctifies honor and the boiling water was poured on us all ants ants friend and brother you have not been killed chance still allows you to wear your bowler hat the helmet of the warrior in its degeneracy the symbol of gracelessness and the hate of beauty the signature of your sameness and innocuousness take off your hat let your hair grow open your eyes look at your neighbor his suffering is your hurt become dangerous let the metaphysical beast whose breath poisons us all fear your understanding and recoil from our bodies his prey and fall back before you and shiver and quake and thirst and starve and die end a poem this recording is in the public domain